What's going on traders? Zach here from the Trading Network. I hope you guys are doing well. I am a little under the weather, as I'm sure you guys can tell by my voice, uh, but that is not going to stop me from getting out our weekly market profile forecast. So that is what I have for you guys this evening. Going to roll through uh, ES and NQ, both on a session and weekly profile basis. Maybe even pop over to the weekly candlestick charts, give you guys my thoughts on those as well. And I will send you on your way with some good levels to look at and keep an eye on for the coming week. All right, so first and foremost, I want to point out this level, uh, this 11,970 level called 11.8K, if you will. That is going to be an important level moving forward into the coming week, as if we can get acceptance above this level back into the overnight profile and uh, into value from Friday. Overnight profile, just to clarify, from Thursday into Friday and then the value area from Friday here. Uh, that will very likely lead us up to this naked point of control at 11,861 from the session from November 23rd. And if we can move and hold above that, look for a move to 874. 890 and then up to this 11,913 naked POC as well from that short day on the 24th. So that is what I would be looking at on the upside most immediately. On the downside, if we cannot move and hold above 11,790, I will look for a test of Friday's low at 11,766. You can see there's good confluence here between 11,766 and the regular trading hours high from the uh, November 22nd session as well. And of course, if we can't hold that area, we've got some good levels to the downside, 11,741, 11,720. And then I would say back down towards this naked POC to the downside, which also has some great confluence at 11,640 uh, between the overnight high from the 21st into 22nd session and the POC itself from the November 22nd regular trading hour session. So those are the important levels to look at uh, especially starting the session tomorrow morning 11790 is really going to be my line in the sand level uh, obviously it depends where we open uh, in about 45 minutes or so uh, but those are some major areas that we can look at and very very likely take high probability trade opportunity from all right so from a weekly profile standpoint here's what i will be looking at first and foremost i'll be watching reaction to the value area high from last week which is at 11807 if we cannot move and hold above the value area high very likely we get a push down towards this 11.6 level on a larger scale. You can see we've got a high volume node here lining up with the POC from last week at 11.597. Prior value area low from the week of November 14th is also 11.608. So if we can't hold that area, very likely we see a retest of last week's lows. And you can see that there's a very good confluence between last week's lows and the prior week's lows. There is really only about a 15 point difference between those two lows there. So that is going to be an important level to hold on a larger scale. If we can move and hold above last week's value area high at 11,807, then I think it's very likely we get a test of the high from the November 7th weekly profile at 11,876. You can see the value area high from the week of November 14th is at 868 right there. And there is a very good area right there. So move and hold above 11,875, call it. Very likely gets us a test of last week's high at 11,925. And then of course, if we can move and hold above that and get accepted above last week's high, very, very high probability that we get a test of the prior week high at 12,063-ish. All right, so now let's hop on over to the ES session profile. One thing I wanna point out is, you know, that the volume from the last two sessions, especially because they've been around the holiday is quite, a bit lower than what we're used to seeing. So you can see that we usually trade, you know, a million contracts or more on most sessions on ES. You know, this one, this regular trading hour session was 900,000. That's pretty typical, 930,000, et cetera. And then for example, on Friday, 328,000. And then on Thursday, it was uh, 22,000. So not a lot of volume there at all. And I think it's very important to take these levels especially with a grain of salt, uh, especially this one here where we only traded 22K contracts uh, on that half day. So although this is a naked point of control, there was not a lot of business done up there. So I would say that, you know, it's almost more important to watch reaction to these overnight highs and uh, this regular trading hours high. You can see that there's good confluence between the high from November 23rd and November 25th at 4,039. So that's gonna be really my major line in the sand level to the upside. If we can move and hold above that 4,039 level, very, very likely we get uh, some upwards pressure into the overnight high from the 24th and the 25th, the overnight high from the 23rd and the 24th, and then of course higher, uh, which we will discuss when we move over to the candlestick chart. So I'll be looking for those 
lows or looking at reaction to those levels first and foremost. And if we cannot get some upwards pressure, very likely that we move into Friday's low, which lines up with the Thursday into Friday overnight low as well. If we can't hold that, I would look for a move to 4,013, which is the value low from November 23rd. And you can see that that is lining up very nicely with the regular trading hours high from November 22nd. So that is going to be an important area to hold there. If we can't hold this area, look for a move down to 4K. And if we can't hold this, we've got a naked POC from a full volume session here uh, at 3,985-ish. So that is going to be an important area to keep an eye on as well, especially if we do get that downside pressure, very likely going to have some good trade opportunity, short opportunity, if you will, uh, down to this naked POC. All right, so let's check out the weekly profile on ES. You can see that there's really good confluence between the last two weekly highs between 4,038 and 4,047. We also have have a high volume node on the monthly volume composite profile right here around 4,030 ish. So that just gives me the indication that this is going to be an important area. And if we lose that, it's very likely that we kind of fill in this low volume node or this lack of liquidity here, right? So when that happens, when we break a high volume node, just for a little bit of context, it's a lot easier for price to move through an area when there's not a lot of volume there. So if we cannot hold this, very likely we get some downside pressure into about 4,000. You can see that there's good confluence between 4,010 and the value area high from last week as well. And if we break that, very, very likely that we see a move down towards 4,000, I'm sorry, 3,970-ish, which is the point of control from the week of November 14th. Break below that, likely visiting the point of control from last week, about 20 points lower at 3950-ish. And then you can see that the value area lows from the last two weeks on ES lining up within about one point of each other. So a lot of good confluence. That is a very important area to hold. If we can't hold last week's low, which lines up with the value area low from the past two weeks, look for a move down to about 39.10. And we have a naked POC uh, much further down around 3810. Of course, we have a lot of levels to work through before we get there, but I think it's important to keep this in mind uh, from a higher time frame perspective as well. So I think that we can hop on over to uh, the regular charts here, the candlestick charts, and I'll give you guys my thoughts since we were talking about ES. Let's just go over that really quick. ES looks pretty darn bullish. I will say that. You know, it's tough to call things uh, looking you know, macro bullish in a overall bear market. But I will say that we put in, you know, some pretty strong lows here. You can see that we have good candlestick structure here, confirming this low, and we're getting complete follow through uh, really for the past month or so, uh, aside from a couple of weeks. So this week, you know, we had a doji, which indicates further indecision. We didn't close above the top of this doji, but we got pretty darn close. So it's going to be very important uh, and really will offer up some good trade opportunity either way, depending on whether or not we continue to break this trend line to the upside. If we break this trend line to the upside, I think these levels are very likely to get tapped, uh, 4160-ish and then uh, 43.15. If we do reject from this trend line here, then very likely to get a retest of these lows right here, right around 3,800. And what do you know? That is confluent with that naked POC that I was just showing you guys right here at 3,810. You can see that right there. So I'll pop back over to the candlestick chart and I'll zoom in here and I'll show you guys just what I'm looking at here. So this, I'm looking at the high of this uh, weekly candle here that is from September 16th. And then I'm looking at this really this confluence between these two uh, candle bodies here from August, August 12th, August 19th weekly candles, right around 4,300, if you want to call it that, to simplify things a little bit. So that's what I will be looking at uh, from a candlestick chart perspective. I will point out that the oscillators on the weekly chart on ES are still pointed up. The slow stokes are flat. So that does not give us, you know, as much confluence as we would like to see, but the fast stochastics are pretty much straight up. So that gives us an indication that there's at least some momentum uh, to the upside, and it will be very important to see if that momentum remains moving forward into this coming week. So NQ, on the other hand, you can see here that ES is already pretty much at the top of the opportunity zone on the weekly, NQ hasn't even gotten into the op zone, right? NQ oscillators pointing to the upside as well, slow stokes flat, 
But I will say, once again, if you look at the BBWP here, the BBWP is uh, looking for a volatility contraction. So it's going to be interesting to see if the contraction actually gets us, you know, a slow push up towards this 11, I'm sorry, 12,750 ish level, which is the 50 EMA on the weekly, uh, or if, you know, we do kind of get held up by a very, very similar trend line here. What I will say as well is that this trend line, even if we move up to touch this, this is still, you know, about 600 points uh, to the upside. So we could have a lot of room to the upside if this stochastic structure does play out, if we do continue to get that follow through to the upside as we have seen since we confirmed these weekly local lows. So I think that there's going to be a lot of opportunity either way on the upside or the downside. And it's gonna be very important to watch these market profile levels, especially uh, to you know get the highest probability opportunity, if you will. So with that said, guys, I am probably gonna wrap it up here. Go try to get some more rest. I'm sure you guys can tell that I'm even losing my voice a little bit when I'm recording this video. So it's gonna be the uh, number one priority for me moving forward into the week is just making sure that I am getting back to 100% or as close as possible before I decide to trade, before I decide to you know take my time and energy and put it into the markets because we all know that we have to be in appropriate mental and physical shape to perform at peak performance when we are trading. So that is what I will be focusing on. I wish you guys an excellent trading week. I hope that this provides value. I hope that you guys can take advantage of these market profile levels and this market profile analysis moving forward. And as always, I want to thank you guys very much for taking the time to watch this content. If you do like what you see, please feel free to like, subscribe, and click that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that we post videos here on the channel. If you would like to learn more about what we do here at The Trading Network, please check out thetradingnetwork.io where you can purchase access to our most popular product, the TTN Pro Trader Bundle, which includes lifetime Discord access, the Fundamentals of Futures Trading course, as well as our proprietary indicator package. You can, of course, purchase all of those products standalone on our website, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. And if you guys have any questions about any of those products that we offer, please feel free to shoot us an email at info at the trading network.io. Shoot us a DM on Instagram and we will help any way we possibly can as fast as we possibly can. Thank you guys as always for being the part of the trading network. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.